From Bambali to the Ballon d'Or shortlist. Sit back, relax and enjoy the story of the Imam's son who never stops believing in his dream of becoming professional football. Are you an old subscriber, thanks for coming back, and don't forget to hit the like button. To the newbies, thanks for coming, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification to get more sports stories. Sadie Omain was born on the 10th of April 1992, in Bambali, Sediu, Senegal, to Sada Touré, his mother, and his father, an imam whose name was not mentioned anywhere. Main aspired to become a footballer from an early age, but his parents never wanted him to play football because of their religious beliefs. However, his father died when he was at the age of seven. Bad news for the family. Eight years later, at the age of 15, Main ran away from his parents' home to Dakar, the capital of Senegal, to pursue his dream of becoming a professional footballer. For this reason, his family had to support him and trust his dream. Main was scouted and referred to Generation Foot in 2009 when he was playing for Mbour, a city in the Thies region of Senegal. He played two seasons with the side and helped them earn a promotion to the second division in his second season with the side. In 2011, Main joined Metz, a French League 2 side, at the age of 19. He made his league debut for the side on 12 January 2012 as a substitute for Kelvin Diaz in the 75th minute of the game in a 1-0 defeat to SC Bastia. The club was relegated at the end of the season, with Maine having 22, 22 appearances and scoring 2, 2 goals. Despite the hike in the asking price, Austrian side RB Salzburg managed to sign Maine for 4 million euros, the transfer saw Maine be the third most expensive player sold by Metz. Two months after he joined the Austria side, he went ahead to score a hat-trick in a 3-1 away win against SC Kalsdorf in a cup fixture. Sadio, however, was reported to have forced a move out of the Austrian side in 2014 because he missed a training session for a Champions League qualification match. Leaving the side, he scored a total of 45, 45, goals, provided 32, 32, assists in 87 appearances, and won the domestic doubles. On the 1st of September 2014, English Premier League side Southampton announced the signing of Sadio from RB Salzburg for a fee reported to be around £11.8 million on a four-year contract. He made his debut for the side in a 2-1 win over Arsenal in a League Cup match just 22 days after he signed with the Saints. Five days later, he was handed his first league appearance in a 2-1 victory over Queen Park Rangers. He waited till the last game week for October before he scored his first goal for the side in a 1-0 win against Stoke City. On the last day of the 2014-15 Premier League season, he went on to score a hat-trick in 2 minutes 56 seconds in a 6-1 win over Aston Villa, which saw him set the record for the fastest hat-trick in the history of the English Premier League cancelling the 1994 Robbie Fowler hat-trick against Arsenal in 4 minutes 33 seconds. He ended his first season with the side, scoring 10, 10, goals from 32, 32, appearances in all competitions. Main only spent two seasons with the Saints and joined the red side of Merseyside, Liverpool, for £34 million on a five-year contract in June 2016. The transfer made him the most expensive African player ever as of then. He made his Premier League debut two, two months after joining in a 4-3 win over Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium, where he scored the fourth goal of the day for his side in his debut goal. With injuries hampering his first season with Liverpool, he was named to the PFA Team of the Year and also named the Liverpool Player of the Year. Main was so good that the former Liverpool defender regarded him as world-class winger and compared him to Liverpool legend John Barnes, as did former Manchester United player Danny Blind compared him to Cristiano Ronaldo for his goal-scoring ability and sprints. Main's second season with the side was much more amazing than the first. He won his first Premier League Player of the Month award in the first month of the season, 
became the highest goal-scoring Senegalese in the EPL, overtaking Demba Ba's 43 goals record, scored his first hat-trick for the side in a 5-0 win over FC Porto in the UCL, making the second player score a hat-trick away from home for his new side a European competition. He also saw his team to the UCL final, but they later lost 3-1 to Real Madrid, with Sadio scoring the only goal for his side. By doing so, he became the first Senegalese to score in a UCL final. Sadio extended his contract with Liverpool in 2018 and went on to score his 50th competitive goal for the side in a 4-2 win over Burnley. Later went on to score a brace against Bayern Munich in a 3-1 in the UCL quarterfinal to become the club's highest goal scorer away from home in the UCL. He scored his 17th EPL goal that season, breaking Demba Ba's record for most goals scored in an EPL season by a Senegalese. On June 1, Maine won an early penalty for Liverpool in a 2-0 over Tottenham Hotspur in the UCL, a win which saw them win the title. He finished that season scoring 22, 22, goals, which saw him share the golden shoe with his teammate Mohamed Sulla and Aubameyang, who also scored 22 league goals. Following the Champions League victory, Liverpool played Chelsea in the Super Coach fixture and won 5-4 on a penalty, with Maine winning the Man of the Match award. He made his 100th EPL appearance for the side in a 2-1 win over Leicester City. The fixture saw him score his 50th for the side. He finished the season winning the EPL, and FIFA World Club Cup, was shortlisted for the Ballon d'Or but finished 4th, and was named the African Footballer of the Year in 2020. Following the COVID-19 pandemic and main testing positive, Liverpool had a stuttering season, the season which he later described as the worst season of his career. His brace on the last day of the league saw his side finish third and secure the Champions League group stage. Main reached his 100 league goal in a 3-0 win against C. Palace. The goal also makes him the first player to score in nine consecutive matches against the same opponents, joining Drogba and Sulla as the their Africans to register 100 league goals. His brace versus Man City secured the 3-2 win in the FA Cup semi-finals and which they eventually won for their first since 2012. Also, Dida score the winning goal in their 3-2 UCL semi-final wins against Villarreal, but they eventually lost in the finals to Real Madrid 1-0. Main decides not to extend his contract with Liverpool, saying he wants a new challenge. He joined the German champion Bayern Munich for €32 million Euros with the potential of rising to €47 million Euros based on appearance and achievements. He made his debut for Bayern in their 5-3 Super Cup win over Leipzig, where he scored his debut goal. A week later, he scored his first league goal for the side in a 6-1 win over Frankfurt. Sadio is enjoying his stay at the Allianz Arena with goals and assists coming his way week in and out. His former side's current struggles were believed to be a result of his departure from the side. But is it true? Yes, it might be. Main's high-pressing skills, which served as one of the main strengths for the Liverpool side, went on missing since he departed, making it easy for the opposition to overplay the side. Also, his goal-scoring, Speed and chance creation were missed when he scored 120 goals and provided 49 assists to help the team. Main's first appearance for the national team was at the 2012 Olympics and where they eventually lost to Mexico 4-2 in the quarterfinals after extra time. He represented the nation in the 2017 AFCON after missing the 2015 AFCON with a calf injury. He missed the penalty against Cameroon in the quarterfinals which saw them eliminated from the competition. He was named in a 23-man squad for the 2018 World Cup, but they were later eliminated from the group stage. He was again picked to feature in the 2019 AFCON, which they again lost to Algeria in the finals. This led to some arguments on social media, with fans believing his goals for the side are scored when it's not needed they believe he should have scored an equalizer in the finals and helped his side win the tournament. At some point, 
Some even believe the only reason he's been picked for the national team was his kind gesture towards the people of his hometown Bambali, by building them a hospital and a school. Though they might be right, I don't think they are. His work rates and professionalism is second to none on the side. Even when he doesn't score, you will notice him on the pitch doing the dirty work to make the job easier for his mate. Main never stops trying. Two years later, he won the 2021 AFCON for the side, the first time the country won it. Though he had already lost a penalty for this side during the match, he redeemed himself by scoring the winning penalty for the side against Egypt. He scored the winning kick that saw his team qualify for the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. And also did become the country's all-time goalscorer a year later. Thanks for staying all through the story. Please don't forget to subscribe and on your notification to get more amazing sports stories.